we're going to talk about the art of mutual benefit, but in a very special context. And that context is brand association. And that's when you want to marry your brand with that of someone else, or they with yours. The talk is entitled Free Rides, but we all know there's actually no such thing. Everyone has to pay the ferryman to cross the river, but if you offer value in equivalent proportions, it can seem like a free ride. In fact, it can prove cost neutral. The big name companies have reputations they rightly guard very carefully, and you should do the same. It's sometimes a good growth policy to combine with another company and piggyback off their good name or for someone to do the same with the good name of your company. But because in each case there is a good name, this means there's a lot already invested in keeping it that way. Your company and the potential partner, or you as the potential partner and the big name from whom you want, with whom you want to partner, will both want to make sure the ride is one that truly does give mutual benefit and bears as little risk as possible. So, what are the six points of consideration for this free ride? It should be logical, consistent, carry minimal risk, be with a partner who has value and can deliver, and the collaborative venture should be well tested before going live to the masses. So first, we need a logical relationship. It should have some market alignment or compatibility that makes sense. So like a kaleidoscope, the sum of the parts can pay, make a far more interesting and complete picture. Second, there should be brand consistency. Just because you're both fish doesn't mean to say that a goldfish and a shark may wish to share the same aquarium. Third, is it safe and durable? And this can take some thoughtful evaluation of associated risk. Here is a useful measure that comes from the book Fooled by Randomness by Nassim Nicholas Taleb. It doesn't matter how frequently something succeeds if failure is too costly to bear. It's worth a thought. Fourth, does it measure up? Has the company built its own brand well? Are the partners and distributors on whom success relies financially sound and stable? What is their reputation for ethics and professionalism in standing by commitments? What about customer service? Fifth, can their fulfillment capacity scale to accommodate the new relationship? There's no point in having scaled up the walking harness of a chihuahua to that of a terrier when you need to get a Great Dane into the marketplace. And sixth, and finally, if all your conditions have been met, the new ride should be extensively tested to iron out all the wrinkles before it goes rive. See the red arrows for details. If you follow these six memorable principles, you can generate genuine mutual benefit from brand association.